right then, so right, this job, got a plant one to put back together with some new equipment and some old equipment. Here's the plant room. Got to get onto these pipes, I don't know what is what, all I know is that's the sump, the main drain. And also I know I'm not even going to try and get back onto this, so I'll cut that down there. Um, I don't know if well, these have been concreted, thanks a lot. I need to get onto these, find out what they are. Maybe one's the return, maybe one's like a vac point. I think that's probably the waste pipe. Yeah, electric coming in. Also electric up there. What we've got is a new 24 inch filter, sand filter. Multi port there, uh, the heat pump 27 kilowatt, which is going to go on the outside here. Um, got all the pipe ready, just need to find the old circulating pump, wherever that is. So I'll go look for that now. Oh, I've got the old pump. I'll stay right, looks like it's been leaking a little bit around that union and that just looks not good so I'll take these both off. Put new ones on. Also got the um, old chlorine feeder that they want to keep so I think it still works. But yeah, we'll put that back in. I've identified the pipes. Sump on the left, then the back, then the return and the skimmer. So let's get this all plumbed up. Uh, so, yeah, this is how I'm gonna go. Pump's gonna go there, filter there. I'm gonna put threaded unions on each outlet of this multi port that's just so it makes it a lot easier in the future if you need to do anything with the pipe work in between or take the multi port off and then the heat pumps going out here a bit of a gap between there and the wall but it's got to be about 500 from there because it sucks air in from the back and from the sides and then blows it out the front. I'll have to trim the bush to get to the um, control panel, which is down here. So yeah, just finish off plumbing in here and then we'll have to core drill a couple of holes in and out to go to and from the heat pump. T1 Do that on that on the waist and in and out of the molten port here and here. Now that the uh, pipe works all done inside, all the valves, the feeder, filters all in place. Just need to get the sand in there, and then the pump needs wiring up. Still need to come out here and do the bypass 
for the heat pump. Do that in a minute, just gonna do the sand first. Let's go. So that's a 24 inch filter. It needs five bags of sand. They're 20 kilos each, so 100 kilos of sand going in. Back to go in. Spreader back in and the air pipe filter. There's the lid, I've put some grease on as always. Spreader and the filter's back on. pressure gauge for the multi-port which will go on here we just need to put some PTFE tape and still looking around that actual state of my hands Jesus Christ On there, look. Not ideal. Probably should have put it on before doing that part, I suppose. One more turn. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, that's me done. Sands all in, everything's tight. Heat pumps in, all plumbed up around the back with the bypass. So we can isolate the heat pump if we have to. This is how they wanted it, so that's job done. Just getting it all up and running, quick back wash first. That's what you have to do when you, after you've done a sand change or any new sand. after let's get these open slowly there'll be a bit of air quite a bit of air I'll do that after the rinse this part was leaking if I just undo this and push it back in, it'll go in. It should be fine. That's a dead cable, by the way. It's not connected to anything. Let's get these open. This one. Alright, everything's open. Just got to identify my thing. Uh, main drain, vac point, and then skimmers. Let's get the heat pump going. to kick in let's go get the vax out and start cleaning the pool just gonna give the pool a quick net first the heater is running eight degrees going in nine degrees coming out so it's already started heating oh, which is good yeah, quick net first, then I'll set up the vac hose after. Uh, right. 
right so i've got the back set out i'm just gonna roll the hose out as far as i need to go hopefully the bits don't fall in i've got the vac point in the middle or you can use the skimmers hold on i've got a phone call uh, right, so that's all stretched out. Now I'm going to prime the prime the hose. Where's the back point? Back point's there. Dip it in. This is getting all the air out of the hose, so the pump doesn't have to. I'm going to have to set this up. Feeding the hose through the water, getting all the air out. That's it. Full up. Now you can plug it on. At that point, without getting my jumper uh, wet. And then go to the front one. And I think it's the middle one, which is the back point. So I'll turn off the skimmers, and I'll turn off the main drain. Now I've got all the suction coming through the back point. Quickly check. Give it a little pull. Yeah, that's well on there. Good suction. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it all coming up. There's a, quite a few leaves in here actually. It's only a little stay right pump so the basket will fill up pretty quick so I'll probably have to empty it a couple of times. The mosaics mess up the camera. This is where I should put the GoPro on the back head. What I'll do is I'll go get the, the GoPro and strap it on, see if we can get some underwater shots, see if we can see something decent. GoPro's on.
that's that job done. Holly, your boy for the pool work.